Ken Moulton at the Honey Company. I want to introduce to you our latest product. It's a feral queen bee, or at least a feral queen cross. So let me tell you about this feral bee project that I started. It, it was in 2007 when I was on a horseback ride down in southern Utah. I noticed a honeybee foraging on a flower. Considering the remoteness of the area, I assumed it must be a feral bee, it must be wild bees living in the trees somewhere. So I came up with a plan to capture some of these and uh, there are several ways I could go about it. Swarm traps would be one or bee lining or just hunt them down by uh, various different means. Or I could take some queen bees that are uh, going on their mating flight, turn them loose down there, let them mate with the wild drone population, come back to their mating hive, and then I could pick that up, take it home, raise some daughters from those, repeat the process. That's what I did. So after so many attempts at that, I've come up with a uh, pretty close to purebred wild bee. These bees are located in southern Utah, so there's Green River and Moab, and then there's Canyonlands that goes all the way down to the Arizona border. And so that's the area where I've collected these bees. In the fall, uh, when there's very few flowers out and the bees are on specific flowers, it's easy to locate where they are. You just have to stop, look at some rabbit brush or some asters, and uh, you'll see wild bees on them. There's a considerable, sizable population of feral honeybees in southern Utah. This is a resource that I just couldn't uh, pass up. I need to draw upon this to help the bee industry. This is what we're trying to do. So, as I've captured some of these bees, I wanted to make sure that they weren't Africanized bees. I has, had a uh, uh, sample of those that sent into the bee lab at our agriculture department and they came back as European bees. We don't know what variety of European bees. Okay, so our customers will ask us, well, do you have, you know, what, what variety do I want? Do you have Italians? I want Connery Owens, or do you have Russians? Uh, these are our own unique variety. These queens will be given to our packet supplier in California. He'll raise daughters from those. Those queens will mate with the drones in California, and we'll provide those to our customers in our package bees in the springtime. So they're a hybrid, but they're an acclimated bee. They're uh, hopefully going to give us some uh, better advantage here uh, where we are in our geography. So we're hopeful about the, these bees. We're testing them for different behaviors. Uh, we don't know for sure yet uh, if they have any better resistance to varroa mites or to foul brood or any of the other viruses or bacteria that are bothering our bees right now. But uh, we're uh, doing something which is uh, significant. We're making some attempts to solve the problems that the bee industry have right now. So we're just a small part of this, but uh, come along with us. Uh, make us part of your bee hobby. Check out the fun videos. As I go through this whole process of catching these wild bees, we've made some videos of it. They're fun to watch. Uh, if we can help you with any products too, we make uh, a lot of our own woodenware here at the Honey Company. Uh, let us know if we can help you. Thanks.